good job. It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 times outraged fans tried to cancel a WWE wrestler. There's been a few times, especially if the wrestler says something on social media or you know, there's a an interesting segment that's aired on the show, and you know, we live in an era of people trying to cancel anything they don't like. That's just the era we live in. So even if you do make a mistake or say something or may have said something in the past, people will definitely try to cancel you. I know that was a thing when uh, I, I think there were some recordings where Hulk Hogan said the N word and boys was trying to cancel him with the quickness. He was kind of canceled for a little bit. WWE kind of distanced themselves from him. And then, like, maybe a few years later, they're like, all right, bro, you can come back. It's safe to come back. Like, people forgot, you know. And I'm all about people having second chances, if deserving so. You know, I feel like everyone deserves a second chance to prove and redeem themselves. We're not greater. You know, no one's greater than the next person when it comes to, you know, making mistakes. Uh, you know, but it's just one of those things is, is the is it genuine is the sin is the apology genuine is the uh is there sincerity in knowing what you said was wrong or what you did was wrong so that's that's when it you know it kind of gets a little muddy because we know at the end of the day when it comes to vince mcmahon and wwe it's all about that bottom dollar man so but we're going to check this out. Should be a good one. Appreciate all the love and support. The Road definition of cancelling has we drastically right, right changed it. in the age of social media. Cancelling now involves a mass boycott of a oh, celebrity's yeah, current and that, prior work. Situation wrestling right fans have tried a to cancel bit. a number of top wrestlers, either for their inappropriate conduct, political beliefs, or even their wrestling style and persona. But which wrestlers were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 times fans tried to cancel a WWE wrestler. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Nikki Bella. When old videos mm. surface online, they can sometimes show celebrities saying things that are no longer appropriate. This yes. was the case when an old video surfaced on social media of Nikki Bella claiming she did not know if China was a man or a woman. The oh, video wow. is from when the Bella twins appeared on the fashion police back in 2013, and the segment was incredibly controversial and extremely offensive, especially to China and her family. There were immediate calls to cancel Nikki, however, she tweeted a lengthy apology on her social media, and thankfully for Nikki, the backlash quickly died down. <laughs> Number 9, Ric Flair. The, the 2021 episode of The Dark yeah. Side of the Ring, which focused on the infamous plane ride from hell, Ooh. wasn't the best publicity for Ric Flair. It was not. In the episode, it detailed how Flair sexually assaulted a flight attendant, and naturally, fans who never knew about the 2002 incident wanted Flair to be cancelled. Mm -hmm. The backlash was so severe that WWE actually removed Flair from their intro package and began to distance themselves from yep. the 16-time world champion. The same thing they did with Hulk Hogan. I'm sure he's going to be on this list. They did the exact same thing. They tried to distance himself when it came out that he said the N-word. And then a few years later, he's uh, one of the hosts of WrestleMania with Titus O'Neil. I'm sure, and I believe there was reports that he apologized to everyone in the back. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not no person on a high and mighty, you know, on my high and mighty horse, you know, trying to uh, sit there and still ridicule someone. If they're sincere, cool, you know, move past it. You know, it happened in the past, but uh, I don't know about this Ric Flair situation. I don't know if WWE will come back to terms to working with him again and, you know, having him, you know, be in, like, promoted in, like, you know, certain situations. I'm not sure, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised because, once again, it's all about the bottom dollar. Flair denied the allegations and he stated that the case was settled out of court back in 2002 and there was no need for the allegations to resurface. Nevertheless, the accounts of those involved certainly make for a harrowing reading. Number 8, Tommy Dreamer. Yep, now, as well as Ric Flair, the aforementioned Dark Side of the Ring episode also led to fans trying to cancel things. hardcore legend Tommy Dreamer. In the episode, Dreamer explicitly defended Flair's actions and even mm -hmm. referred to Flair's conduct as a joke. 
Dreamer's viewpoint took fans by surprise as he had cemented a legacy for being a great guy in the wrestling industry, but thanks to these disturbing comments, this all changed. Thanks to the social media backlash from fans, Dreamer's current employer, Impact Wrestling, was forced to act. Dreamer yeah. was suspended indefinitely, and although he publicly apologized via his social media, this did little to change the opinion of the wrestling fan base. Mm -hmm. Number 7. Braun Strowman a former wow, WWE star Braun Strowman hit headlines in 2020 as during the height of the global pandemic, Braun decided to make some unflattering and insensitive comments towards independent wrestling. AEW wrestler Evil Uno took to Instagram during this time to plead with fans to support independent wrestlers in any way they can during this difficult time. This led to Braun responding to Uno by saying, Here we go with more of the somebody pay for my bills stuff. If you can't afford to pay your bills, maybe you should change professions. That's why I quit Strongman. I loved it, but I couldn't afford to live, so instead of making a GoFundMe or a Patreon wanting someone else to take care of me, I went out and worked harder than I ever have in my life to get where I am. What happened to being accountable for your own actions? This response quite rightly received huge criticism. Braun was in no position to say this, and it made the former Universal Champion appear apathetic and selfish. Fans quickly turned on Braun after the post, and the wow. social media resentment to him was rather severe and never seemed to go away. I did not know that. I did not know that. And the irony is they let him go still. They let him go. So now you want an independent scene. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's it's one of those things where I get what he was trying to say. Like, we do live in a generation of if we, as, uh, as a person, mess up financially, there's ways for people to pretty much give you money without you really doing anything. So I get that, but I don't think the individual was trying to spin it in that route. Like, oh, just give me money because I'm a wrestler. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that person was, you know, trying to work hard. But being an independent wrestler, you know, going to these different promotions, you know what I'm saying, really trying to build a name for yourself is, uh, is a is a tough, tough situation to be in. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It, it I probably wouldn't have said it that way. And it, it didn't help him in, the, in uh, the eyes of the fans for sure. Number 6. Jackson Riker Jackson Riker has never shied away from sharing his right-wing political views on social media, but Riker hasn't always picked the most appropriate time or platform to share his controversial viewpoints. In 2019, Riker called the Black Lives Matter movement garbage, and in 2020, he would publicly tweet support for Donald Trump. Oh. It wasn't just WWE fans who wanted Riker cancelled. A number of top WWE stars such as Mustafa Ali and Kevin Owens took issue with what Riker was saying. Oh. Owens specially replied to one of Riker's right-wing tweets, which incorporated the catchphrase for the Forgotten Sons tag team by stating, The freedom you speak of entitles you to speak your mind all you want. I'm not here to argue that. I just really need you to tell you that I think you're pushing your shit wrestling catchphrase as all of this is happening is absolutely pathetic wow Good night. number five sasha banks damn when it comes to just wrestling it is cool to have your opinions and your political beliefs but it's it's one of those things is damned if you do damned if you don't if you start getting into that bag it, it just it, it gets muddy it, it definitely does politics i try to stay away from it as much as possible especially on when it comes to a public platform, unless I'm asked about my, you know, political beliefs and where, you know, what I feel about certain stuff. Wrestling fans can sometimes be rather quick to jump to conclusions. Take, for instance, when fans attempted to cancel Sasha Banks in 2021. Thanks to social media likes and comments, it surfaced that Sasha was potentially an anti-vaxxer. This led to fans criticizing wow, the former really? women's champion for putting the rest of the WWE roster at risk, as well as WWE notice. fans when she performs live. And it turned out that this criticism and cancellation attempt was misplaced, as Sasha Banks was vaccinated along with the majority of the WWE roster. Now we know this because Sasha wrestled at the 2021 Crown Jewel pay-per-view, which took place in Saudi Arabia. For WWE talent to perform on this show, they had to be fully vaccinated, meaning that Sasha was indeed vaccinated when the pay-per-view took place in October of 2021. Wow. Well, Number 4, Nia Jax. Say sometimes you just gotta, you know, people be quick to cancel you and don't even know the truth. Now, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, sometimes a wrestler's conduct inside the squared circle can lead to fans turning on them and consequently attempting to cancel them. 
Nia Jax, during a time in the WWE, attained a reputation for being incredibly unsafe in the ring. This began when she broke Becky Lynch's nose in 2018, and following this incident, Nia seemed to become incredibly reckless and dangerous in the squared circle. Yep. Now, although jokes were made by fans in relation to her wrestling style, there was serious concern that Nia was going to hurt someone. She would be released from the WWE in November of 2021, and this led to a small portion of the fan base rejoicing in the fact that yes. someone who is perceived to be a reckless worker was finally let go from the company. Number th A lot of people I was seeing in the comments, they was like, oh, Nia Jax is gone? Cool. Like, a lot of people just didn't care. And, you know, she has been, you know, kind of reckless in certain situations uh, on WWE programming. I'm just... I don't want to sit up there and be like, oh, I'm just, I'm happy for someone losing their job. Because at the end of the day, that's how they make a living. I'm not one of those people, you know, do I think, you know, her in-ring work was that good? Not really, but I'm not here to be like, oh, she deserved to lose her job. Unless she's just out here really being reckless and like injuring mo like a lot of individuals. And, you know, she's not, you know, people in management not really feeling her and she's the matches she put on or you know subpar and not really that good i mean i kind of list a lot of things that people wanted her to be let go of the point i'm trying to make is man i'm just not here to just actively be excited because someone got fired <laughs> three chris jericho now without question chris jericho has solidified himself as one of the greatest performers in wrestling history However, over the past few years, fan reception to Jericho has been mixed. Jericho's political beliefs have led to a lot of resentment being directed towards him, and a number of fans have attempted to cancel Jericho for his, at times, controversial ideologies. Outside of politics, fans recently took exception to Jericho's conduct on social media, as he attempted to call out former WWE star Kalisto, but it massively backfired. Kalisto would tweet a heartfelt tribute to the late great John Huber, who was known as Brody Lee. In the tweet, Kalisto would spell John's name as J-O-H-N, and this led to Jericho replying to Kalisto by saying, You spelled his name wrong. Fans quickly came to the defense of Kalisto for the innocent mistake. They instead called out Jericho for his behavior and mm. stated that Jericho was making the situation about himself and should have just messaged him privately. Number two, the un- I get it. I get it. It's kind of like, I mean, it's, you knew who he was talking about. He just made a typo and then you respond, you spelled his name wrong. It's like, people do that. It's just like, for what? It's like, uh, it's not cancel worthy. It's just like, eh, all right. Okay, bro. Undertaker. Uh, following The Undertaker's appearance on Joe Rogan's podcast at the start of 2021, fans quickly came for the WWE legend after he labeled the WWE product as soft. Taker would state, to the young guys who think he's a bitter old guy, I'm not bitter. I did my time. I walked away when I wanted to walk away. I just think the product is a little soft. There's guys here and there that have an edge to them, but there's too much pretty and not enough substance, I think, right now. That era of guys, too. Those were men. You could go into a dressing room nowadays, it's a lot different. I remember walking into my first real dressing room and all I saw was some crusty men. Right, <laughs> half of them had guns and knives in their bags. Shit got handled back then, you know? Now you walk in, there's guys playing video games and making sure they look pretty. Now, these comments were met with disdain mm. from fans who questioned why The Undertaker was coming for the locker room in this manner and they even called him out for taking part in the WWE Battlegrounds commercial which featured him playing the video game itself. A number of WWE stars, including Roman Reigns and Xavier Woods, actively defended the locker room against The Undertaker, while superstars such as Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin gave a much more conservative response to the dead man's now infamous comments. And number one, J Here's the thing. I get what he's saying. I, I understand what The Undertaker's saying. It's a different time period. And let's be honest here. Not to say that the wrestlers are soft. Maybe some of them are. But let's be honest here, the product is soft. It's it's not as rugged as it was before. We cannot sit up here and say it it's the same. Let's not forget. Uh the new day was coming out. If you guys remember, they had the little the dildo unicorn horn straps to their head. Y'all remember that? That was a phase. That was a thing. I'm sorry. It's kind of, you know, it's a little soft. You know what I'm saying? It's, it doesn't come off as aggressive. And then I get it. Not every segment, every person needs to be just super ultra aggressive, manly man, and all this other stuff. But at the same time, the overall product and how it's viewed and how the locker room probably works now is definitely much softer than what it was back in the day. Hell, just times in general, how people move 
they're much softer than they are than they were in the 90s because it's just it's just just a different time period man like that's just what it is john cena now that john cena is a huge name in hollywood he's under more scrutiny than ever from the public whilst promoting fast and furious 9 cena during an interview with a taiwanese broadcaster claimed that taiwan was a country and for those not aware china rejects any references to taiwan being its own country as cena received a ton of hate on social media and there were even calls to cancel the former 16 time world champion for what was clearly a completely innocent mistake yeah. cena would release a public apology where he apologized to anyone offended by his comments and he stated that he loves and respects his Chinese fans. The apology video went viral as it was viewed about almost 1 million times in a 24 hour period. Though thankfully it looked like the calls for Cena to be cancelled quickly went away following Cena's sincere apology being published. But there you have it folks. I mean it was just a mistake. I don't even know I don't even know why that's number one. Number one should have been Hulk Hogan saying the n-word and then being able to come back because they did they were trying to cancel him. I'm not going to forget that. <laughs> but other than that that was that was an honest mistake but once again we live in a softer time period when you make a mistake and you're a celebrity youtuber whatever a, a personality an influence whatever you want to call yourself you make a mistake people are going to try to cancel you just because you made one mistake that's just that's the world we live in man uh number one should have been hulk hogan <laughs> Hulk Hogan definitely should have been number one in my opinion. That's just me personally. But comment down below. Let me know. Have you ever been so outraged at a wrestler that you really was trying to cancel them? Were you one of these people? Uh, were you trying to cancel one of these individuals in this video? Be honest. Be honest. Let me know down below. Appreciate all love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.